Now on Coast TV News. School board election buzz meet the candidates vying for Worcester County Board of Education. Primary day in Maryland, a preview of races that are taking place statewide. Candidate spotlight, a crowded field is going to be cut down to two in a hotly contested race to replace Senator Ben Cardin. Love locks goodbye. Ocean City removes the iconic love locks at the inlet. How the city plans to preserve these symbols of romance. This is Coast TV News at 6. People continue to walk in and out of these voting doors, hoping for the best. Good evening, I'm Mallory Metzner. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with important elections taking place in Maryland. Voters still making their way to the polls to cast ballots in key races. We are tracking two of those big races, the open Senate seat and on the House of Representatives side, the primary for District 1. But first, we're going to kick off with local elections that are taking place tonight for Board of Education races. School board elections are taking place all across Delaware. Here are the contested races that we're tracking. One is in the District of Indian River. It has more than one candidate on the ballot. That would be District 4. In Woodbridge, three candidates are running for the at-large seat. Two are running in Del Mar for the district's at-large seat. Polls are open statewide until 8 p.m. It is important to note, though, that Cape Henlopen, Milford, Laurel, Seaford, Caesar Rodney, Capitol, and Smyrna. Those will not hold school board elections. That's because state code automatically elects unopposed candidates. In Worcester County, people are still heading to the polls to vote for the Board of Education election. There are three elections taking place tonight in Districts 2, 3, and 5. Districts 2 and 3 have two candidates running. District 5 has three candidates for the Board of Education seat, which means one from District 5 will find out tonight if they are not moving forward. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappé shows us what they're all doing on the last day of voting. District 5 will soon find out which one of these three candidates will be packing up their signs for good. Dorothy Shelton Leslie woke up at the crack of dawn for the last day of voting. We have a table at both places and we have signs at both places. We got, we got up this morning at 5 o'clock and started working on this. The Ocean Pines Library and Shaw Elementary School are holding the voting polls that will decide which two candidates will be moving forward for the District 5 school board. All three have set up shop at both places and they plan on going back and forth all day long. John Huber hopes his 30 years working in schools will help him move forward, and he plans to help the school board by being more communicative around the community. I would like to see a board that, that is, is a little more fluent and, and a little more cohesive working with some of the local decision makers, um, the Board of Commissioners, Sheriff's Office, State's Attorney. Elena McComas, who has been a teacher all her life, hopes she could continue her school career as a board member fell in love with the school system and decided that, wow, maybe I can keep going in my education passion and run for school board. So that's what I did. McComas hopes to keep the school system great and plans to fight for more budget money going into the schools and education. Shelton Leslie, who has been in the education system for over 40 years, says one of her big concerns is making sure parents have more of a say. I think parents should have to give permission to have their children in some things that are uncomfortable for them, not have to opt out for it, but actually have to have permission. Each candidate agree on one thing. No matter what, no matter who you're voting for, get out and vote. Tallying will start right after the polling locations close at 8 p.m. tonight. I'm Kevin Zappay in Berlin. Coast TV News. Early voting results for the Board of Education election will be available after 8 p.m. tonight. The Board of Elections will review provisional ballots on May 22nd and mail-in ballots on May 24th, both at 10 a.m. All events are at 201 Belt Street, Suite C in Snow Hill. In Maryland, the race for the U.S. Senate is getting a lot of attention. Democratic Senator Ben Cardin is retiring, and there's a crowded field looking to fill his shoes. In fact, there are 10 Democratic candidates running, some with name ID, like U.S. Representative David Trone. Whoever wins the primary, they could potentially face former Governor Larry Hogan. But even as voters head to the polls, there's a lot to learn about all the candidates running today. 
In the newsroom is Coast TV News reporter Charles Reiner. Charles, two Democratic candidates are generating most of the buzz. Charlie, the names of those Democratic candidates are David Trone and Angela Also Brooks. Now let's start with Also Brooks. She now has the endorsement of Maryland Governor Wes Moore. Also Brooks was elected County Executive for Prince George's County back in 2018. She is also a former state's attorney for Prince George's County. The other, other favorite of these Democrats is David Trone. Trone has served three times as a U.S. representative. Trone has spent over $60 million of his own money on his campaign, according to CNN, which it says is a record. He is also a co-founder of the Total One and More chain of liquor stores you see all across the country. Now, this particular race has been getting a lot of attention nationwide. So it's fair to say that whoever wins this primary tonight will be getting a lot of buzz as they prepare to take on the Republican candidate this coming November. Back to you at the desk. Thank you, Charles. It's also a crowded field on the Republican side, although slightly smaller. You can see all of those candidates here, including former Governor Larry Hogan. A Republican has not been elected by Marylanders to the Senate seat since 1977. And that's according to the U.S. Senate website. There is a lot to learn about these candidates, so let's go back to Charles Reiner. Charles, Hogan is a favorite to win this primary. Mallory, let's just get right into Hogan's background. Hogan served two terms as Maryland's governor and saw massive approval rankings. That's important to note because Maryland is typically a blue state. He was the first Republican governor elected in Maryland in over 50 years. And before he was elected governor, Hogan worked in real estate. Now, one of Hogan's biggest opponents is Robin Ficker. Ficker is a former state delegate from Maryland. He is also a veteran of the Army. Now, Ficker has run multiple times for different political seats such as U.S. Representative and State Senate, but lost. Now, it's no secret that Hogan is a big name in this race, so Ficker seemingly has an uphill battle if he wants to take the next steps this coming November. Thank you, Charles. And now to the race for U.S. House District 1. On the Republican side, two candidates are challenging the incumbent there, Andy Harris. It's Chris Bruno and Michael Lemon. There are two Democratic candidates, which you can see on your screen right now, Blaine Miller and Blessing Oluwadare. In Maryland, new voters can register in person on primary day. To register to vote, go to your assigned election day polling place and bring a document that proves where you live, such as your MVA issued license, ID card or change of address card or a paycheck stub, bank statement, utility bill or other government document showing your name and address. Polls are open until 8 p.m. Speaking of the polls, we're running our own Coast TV poll here. We want to know, did you or will you vote in your primary election? Let's take a look at the updated results, Charlie. On the screen here, it looks like this has changed ever so slightly. It's now 68-32 for people saying yes, they will or have voted in their primary election in the lead. And we want you to vote in our poll here. So go to CoastTV.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. You're going to want to make sure that you tune in tonight on Coast TV News at 11 for continued primary election coverage. We're going to have updated results as they begin to come in on our website. That's CoastTV.com. Make sure to keep an eye on our app as well and Facebook page for any key race results. We're taking a live look outside into Ocean City now because it's time to check on your weather forecast. You can see those cloudy skies. Our first alert chief meteorologist Paul Williams joins us now. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, and we've had some very light precipitation at this point, not enough to cause any kind of deterrence as far as polling as far as voting is concerned and we're looking for it to stay relatively light for the last couple of hours that the polls are open. We're going to stay with the cloudy skies and we'll have temperatures in the 60s. The rain should come to an end by 9 o'clock with partly cloudy skies by then temperatures in the lower 60s. Here's a look at the rain right now which moving pretty steadily uh, coming out of the west, southwest moving towards the east northeast moving at approximately 20 to 25 miles per hour picked up a little momentum but it didn't pick up intensity whatsoever staying very much on the relaxed side so to speak. Tomorrow we have a yellow alert day, but look, we start off with rain at 6 o'clock. It continues throughout noon, throughout 2 to 4 o'clock. So we're looking for all day rain for tomorrow, which means we'll accumulate a little bit more. Now, just how much rain are we expecting? We'll take a look at our forecasting models for that coming up in a moment. Till then, back to you, Mallory. Thank you, Paul. New in Rehoboth, after various community meetings and surveys, DENREC proposed fees for Doville Beach have been approved. Starting Memorial Day weekend,
weekend through November 30th, visitors will need a daily entrance fee or an annual pass at Deauville Beach. Passes go on sale tomorrow. It will cost $115 with a $25 discount for Delaware State Park pass holders. Denrec says fees will be collected via booths or automated machines, and passes can be purchased in person or online. Rehoboth Beach permits will no longer be honored there. Starting tomorrow, you got to get ready to feed those meters. Delaware's beach towns from Rehoboth to Fenwick Island are kicking off their paid summer parking season. In Rehoboth, metered parking, that's going to cost you $4 an hour from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Metered parking in Dewey Beach, a little cheaper, $3.50 per hour, but parking is free on Monday nights, don't forget that. Bethany Beach offers a simplified pay-to-park system, just $3 per hour, and in Fenwick Island, parking will cost $3 per hour. To learn more information on parking in other beach towns, we've got a great resource. Just go to our website, coasttv.com. And staying on the topic of parking, parking interruptions will happen in Fenwick Island next week. From May 21st to the 22nd, Fenwick's neighborhood streets will go through some road work. The town wants to make sure the work goes smoothly, so they want to let property owners know that street parking won't be available during the work period. The city of Lewis is changing things up for its summer trash collection. The city introducing a subscription-based second weekly trash collection service. Listen to the details on this. The service runs from June 28th to August 30th with a flat fee of $250 per cart. That's for the entire season. According to city officials, people must subscribe by tomorrow to get that service, so hurry up. Details on the subscription can be found on our website, coasttv.com. We are just getting started tonight. In Ocean City today, you might have noticed more police officers near Coastal Highway. We're gonna show you why patrols are increasing this week. We started off this morning with temperatures in the 50s and low 60s, but I'll tell you what, we're expecting scattered showers to show up across all of Delmarva. I'll show you what I'm tracking in a moment. But first, Ocean City says goodbye to Love Locks. What's next for this romantic tradition? We'll be back in 90 seconds. At Spicer Brothers, we're not just about installing roofs. We're about protection, durability, and peace of mind. Our team of skilled professionals can install your last roof using the highest quality materials in as little as one day. And we make it easy with on-site design and digital proposal. And right now, save $1,000 off your new roof. Plus, have peace of mind with our Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty. And the best part, enjoy no interest and no payments for 18 months. Call today and schedule your free in-home consultation because you deserve the best. Have you been putting off correcting your smile? Consider Smiles Correct Clear Aligners from Tillman Orthodontics. We'll reach out to your insurance for you. And provide interest-free in-house financing. I got free financing and made easy monthly payments. Smiles Correct Aligners are made right here at Tillman Orthodontics. Unlike other clear aligners, at Tillman Orthodontics, the materials, the contours, and the treatment plans are fully customizable. A customized plan just for me. Did the sun come out or is it my smile? You can only get Smiles Correct at Tillman Orthodontics, so call today. Honor cyclists and loved ones who were injured or lost their lives as a result of vehicle cyclist crashes. Join us for the Maryland Eastern Shore Ride of Silence Wednesday, May 15th at 6 p.m. As part of May Bike Month, we're bringing attention to drivers and cyclists sharing the road. Start and finish at Unity Square in Salisbury. Helmets are required and lights front and back are encouraged. For more information, visit the Ride of Silence Maryland Eastern Shore Facebook page. This is Coast TV News at 6. In Ocean City, people love taking a stroll along the Love Lock Pier, but things have changed now. Only a few of those locks actually remain. Just last week, crews replaced sections of the fence, taking down hundreds of locks, mostly left by couples as tokens of their love and commitment. Mark Castro swung by with his kids this afternoon, and they actually gave the new cleaned up look their seal of approval. My family and I decided to come visit the new Ocean City Fishing Pier look. We think it looks great. We think that uh, the pictures of our guests and our uh, tourists will look much better and it's better for the environment and everybody in the, uh, all around. Well, many find charm and sentimentality in the Love Locks. The town is kindly upgrading or urging rather vi visitors to refrain from putting any more of those locks on. 
Well, you might want to refrain from, you know, setting up a tea time for tomorrow because we're expecting a rainy day all day tomorrow. So basically, I'm saying forget it. <laughs> it's mostly cloudy skies, scattered showers, high of 62 degrees. It's going to be soggy all day long. Might want to just hold off till we get to, let's say, old Friday. At Coastal Comfort, we know there's no place like home. That's why we're committed to ensuring total comfort for a totally happy home. As a premier carrier factory authorized dealer, we're dedicated to providing reliable service and the best savings. Like now, through the end of May, with purchase of a qualified carrier system, you can instantly receive up to $1,900 off. You could also qualify for up to $2,000 in federal tax credit. Coastal Comfort, a carrier factory authorized dealer serving Maryland and Delaware. Carrier, turn to the experts. We rise by lifting others, by coming together, investing in our community, and helping others. We rise by joining together, by dreaming big, loving our neighbors, and giving local. Because coming together is what makes the Lower Eastern Shore home. The Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, where generosity changes everything. Rise together at cfes.org. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation, where we bring the showroom to you. It might be an 11, maybe a 9. It could be 13's time, or 5. With new cash pop from the Maryland Lottery, a winning number is drawn four times a day. Just pick a number from 1 to 15 for a chance to win cash, like the $2,500 top prize. Cash pop. Put a little pop in your day. Summer is here, and with a new Toyota, you can do all your favorite beach activities, like spike ball, whitewater rafting, shrimp boils, wade fishing, or hanging with the locals. You can say that again. Check out the all-new, fully redesigned 24 Tacoma, or get low 3.99 APR for 72 months on a full-size hybrid Tundra. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Our soldiers are heroes who protect our country. But when they come home, it's up to us to help our heroes. Now, during FH First Spring Into Giving campaign, for every $29 cooling system tune-up we perform, we'll donate that amount directly to Wounded Warrior Project. FH Fur Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electrical. Call 877-CALL-FUR or visit fhfur.com to schedule your $29 cooling system tune-up. And use hashtag Spring Into Giving to share how you're giving back. We're Coast Country, and we're Delmarva Proud. More moisture, more cloud cover, and an enhanced opportunity for scattered showers. That's basically what we have on the docket for our forecast. Tyndall Casual Furniture Camera showing that we have the overcast clouds. We've got that action going pretty good. We're at 61 degrees in Ocean City. Now we're going to stay at about 61, 62, 60. We're going to kind of oscillate between all three of those for the rest of the night, along with the cloud cover and the rain sticking around at least till about 10 o'clock. Here's a look at the current temperatures right now. We're at 66 degrees in Del Mar, Seaford, Greenwood, Redden. We're at 60 degrees in Bethany Beach and 61 in Rehoboth, 67 right now in Lewis. Small craft advisory still active, so we're looking for somewhat gusty winds uh, near Thomas, Madison, Cambridge area. But the main concern is going to be the light to moderate showers that's pushing there, as well as down towards Tangier, as well as Chrisfield and Bloxham. Now, this rain is still going to stay light for the rest of the night. I don't see any embedded thunderstorms until you go down a lot farther to the south with that moisture that's coming out of the south. And, and all the southwest, we're going to see that warm air surge from the south to the north. And this rain generally just kind of float or, or, or drift its way more so towards the north over time. But we are a little bit cooler. We're about two to three degrees cooler for us actually in Georgetown and Salisbury. Now, our high today 
76 degrees, only two above the norm for this time of the year, nowhere near this record, okay? But our low was pretty close to the numbers as well, so a normal kind of day with all that rain, by the way. 75 for the high in Salisbury, 76 Georgetown, 71 for the high, Wallops Island, and Ocean City. The amount of rain still tabulating that, but it's relatively light stuff, about five one hundredths of an inch of rain. That's not a whole lot at all when you think about it. Now we have the winds coming off of the off of the ocean towards Newark as well as Berlin, Ocean Pines, 60s for Wednesday morning and a couple of sprinkles by mid-morning. But the latest model runs are pulling back dramatically from the amount of rain that we're talking about because initially our model run here was going all the way up to two and a half inches. Now with the latest run, it's backing off tremendously to like a last, less than a half of an inch, which, which is why we're calling for a yellow alert day instead of a red one. But we have the winds coming out of the east, once again, the most northern portions of our viewing area. And we see those spot showers right around 130 between Milford and Milton and near Broadkill Beach as that low pressure system will begin to go by us. Here's a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling extended forecast. We're still going to call for a first alert day, really a yellow alert day for us on Wednesday with uh, soggy conditions. Chance of rain will continue and go into early Thursday morning. After that, we catch a break with the rain by Friday, cloudy on Saturday, and another round of soggy weather by Sunday. Paul, now in Ocean City, a special event zone is in effect due to the cruise in Ocean City event. During this time, the speed limit will be lower and fines for breaking traffic rules, they'll be higher. There will be many police officers from different agencies making sure laws are followed. The town says expect a lot of traffic and different traffic patterns during the weekend. The special event zone will be in effect through Sunday. A successful referendum vote has paved the way for upgrades to the water distribution system in Milton. Work has already started on Federal Street to make these upgrades, and according to the town, a contractor has started drilling a Federal Street drinking water well. Just as an FYI to the property owners in the area, you might hear some noise during the day while crews do this work. The town says the work will last about a week depending on the weather. In your traffic news, road work is underway in the city of Milford. As of today, crews are working on Kings Highway near Route 113. The work will take about a week to do. Officials say crews are replacing water services. We'll be right back. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at OCOcean.com. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. Don't miss the Hot Tub and Swim Spa Blowout Expo this weekend only at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. Browse over 30 hot tubs, cold therapy tubs, and swim spas from five major brands at huge savings. Financing is available and admission is free. That's this weekend at the Delaware State Fairgrounds in Harrington. Visit HotTubExpo.com. Hey, Delmarva, get ready to save big at Preston Ford's Memorial Day sales event. SUVs cost less at Preston with over $6,000 in total savings. And don't miss out on 1.9% financing for 72 months on America's best-selling truck, the 2023 Ford F-150. We have over 800 Ford models ready to be driven home today. Shop with us online at PrestonFord.com and we'll deliver it to your driveway today. Be a part of all the excitement going on right now during the Memorial Day sales event at Preston Ford. Cars cost less in Preston. Your roof is the first line of defense against the elements, but is ready for the next storm? If it's time for a new roof, call Hershey Exterior. As a GAF Master Elite contractor, we offer the industry's best warranty. Our roofs come with a Golden Pledge 50-year warranty on materials and a 25-year workmanship warranty that is backed by GAF. Call Hershey Exteriors, your trusted roofing pros, and get 0% financing for 12 months because life is sweeter with Hershey Exteriors. It's a free-for-all at Furniture Land. Introducing Furniture Land of the Free. First, select from a wide selection of import-free options for every room. Next, you can shop worry-free with our 14-day in-home trial. Then, enjoy it immediately with our weight-free 100% in-stock guarantee. Plus, if you love it, we'll even deliver it to your home for free from our location in tax-free Del Mar, Delaware. Furniture Land. In style, in stock, in your home today. 
Don't miss the Hot Tub and Swim Spa Blowout Expo this weekend only at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. Browse over 30 hot tubs and swim spas from five major brands and up to 50% off. Financing is available and admission is free. That's this weekend only at the Delaware State Fairgrounds in Harrington. Visit HotTubExpo.com. Subaru Car has been an awesome change. It is definitely something that's reliable, safe. Gateway Subaru had what I was looking for. The dealership was just wonderful to deal with. The Gateway really nailed it and didn't, you didn't feel pressured. They were more compassionate, willing to work with you. So Gateway provided me with the cross check that I needed and I'm very comfortable with. Walked out with the keys and the car the same day and it's been running beautifully. And I love my Subaru. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app today. Book your plans for the weekend. Sussex County Libraries are coming together to host an event in Georgetown. Organizers say the third annual Children's Book Festival will bring more than 20 authors of children's board, picture, and chapter books. Activities are planned in and around the library from 10 to 2 this Saturday. The event is free to attend. For those who do, they'll get a free tote bag. Oh, that sounds like a great deal. Our Subaru camera, gateway camera in Ocean City, showing that uh, we have temperatures staying in the low 60s. We'll still see some scattered showers throughout the rest of the evening. And here's a look at that rain. We have yet another wave that's going to be headed in our direction. Nothing that's heavy, but enough that's an that enough to annoy you a little bit and keep the roads just wet enough to be a little careful. By the way, keep up with your forecast by calling our weather line at 443-880-9100. Your forecast is just a call away. Sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Broxted, and Federico. Here Here's a look at your exclusive 10 day forecast. Thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News with, at 11 with all those election results. Have a great evening.